I am excited today because it is the first of the month of October and I am headed to Costco to do another healthy shopping haul for you. For those of you who are new here, my name is Lisa. We are a homesteading family who follows a Mediterranean diet. I love doing these, these healthy shopping hauls to share what we buy as ingredients to make delicious meals for our family. We got a great haul of things at Costco. I'm really excited about some of these new things that we got. This is my dog. This is Dioji. He is all up in my business all the time. We refer to him as the worst homesteading dog ever because he's a little bit crazy, but we do really, really love him. You saying hello to everybody? You want to help me do my Costco video? He really is a sweet boy. He just drives me up the wall. Yeah, I love you. So first I'm going to grab this two pack of the Victoria marinara sauce. This is a better price than the Reos and it has really good ingredients in it. There is a new maple syrup. This is an organic maple syrup and it's $12.99. I love that it's in a glass bottle. This is the one we usually get at Costco and it's great, but I'm excited to try something new. If you've seen any of my blog recipes or my recipe videos, you know that I use maple syrup in place of sugar. I love it for my muffins and I love it for my salad dressings. Here is a new item, this cooked brown rice. It comes in six bowls and the price is $8.69. Now the really great thing about this is the only ingredients are the rice and water. There's no oils or anything like that in there. And so I'm definitely gonna get this. Just water and organic brown rice. I wanted to open up that package of rice so I could show you what the little serving size bowls look like. So they look like this and then you just heat them up. There's not very many healthy convenience options, but this is definitely one of them because like I said, the only ingredients in here is rice and water. There's no salt or anything. So add a little bit of olive oil to this, put it with your bowls or your veggies or your wraps or even in soup. I think this is a really nice convenience item if you just if you just need something quick to grab and go and you just need some rice really quickly. I think this is great. These wild Pacific sardines are a great pick because they are in extra virgin olive oil and a lot of the other sardines are in a different, not olive oil at all or they're in just olive oil and you want the EVOO and they are $9.99 a piece. We've got a new olive oil. This is a product of Italy and it is cold pressed. Extra virgin olive oil, $11.89. So I'm really excited to try this. So I think it's really neat that we were able to find both maple syrup and olive oil in glass bottles. Because when I've done videos in the past, people have mentioned that they don't like buying olive oil in a plastic jug. Well, now you've got the option to find a single sourced olive oil at Costco in a glass bottle. And same with the maple syrup. The maple syrup this one is in a glass bottle. So for those people who are really not wanting to have things in plastic, these are great options. Here's another new olive oil. This is an extra virgin olive oil from Spain. So it is single sourced, it's in a glass bottle. The price is $11.89. I am not gonna get this one today because I am going to try the one from Italy, but I'll pick this one up next time. This is another new olive oil here at Costco and the price point is $9.99. It's in a glass bottle, single sourced from Australia. This time of year, I love to make a lot of things with pumpkin. And what you want when you're looking for a good pumpkin is you want the pumpkin puree, not the pumpkin pie filling, because the pumpkin pie filling is gonna be filled with sugar. So this is the pumpkin puree and it is six cans of organic pumpkin for $9.59, which I think is a great price. I always buy a ton of organic pumpkin around this time of year because I really like to make muffins. I like to make pumpkin dip, pumpkin bread, homemade pumpkin creamer, just all of the pumpkin things. I've got two recipes on my blog for great 
pumpkin muffins. I did a batch cooking video where I showed you how to make three different kinds of muffins for the freezer at once. And one of them was my white chocolate peanut butter pumpkin muffins. They're my favorite. And so I definitely need lots of cans of pumpkin around for that as well. I've already got all of these at home, but I just want to show you the price points really quick. So chia seeds, $9.99. That's a huge bag of chia seeds. Great for overnight oats. I love adding chia seeds to my overnight oats. They are a great source of omega-3 fatty acids, and this huge bag is wonderful for this. And then the organic quinoa is a really great price. It's $9.49 for this huge bag. And then we've got organic hemp hearts over here at $13.49. I love buying my grains in bulk like this because then I can cook them in my Instant Pot and then portion them out for individual servings and it's just really easy. Now I usually make my own guacamole and it's very good, but this was too good of a deal to pass up. These ingredients are really clean and $6.99 for three of these. This is just a fantastic deal, so I had to grab it. So this is what that guacamole looks like. Like it's the three pack and this is just a great deal. I know guacamole is really easy to make. This is actually less expensive. At the price that it is to get three of these, it would be more expensive to get your own avocados to make this. And it is just nice to have some convenience options once in a while, especially if they're healthy convenience options. And so I'm just gonna tell you what the ingredients are in this. Organic avocados, organic tomatoes, organic tomato juice, sea salt, organic onions, organic red onions, organic lime, organic cilantro, organic garlic, and jalapeno peppers. All whole food ingredients. So in my opinion, I think this is a great item, especially if you're having a party or something. I already make so many things for scratch. When I find something that has great ingredients like this, that is made with all whole foods and can make my life easier and still be a win, I'm gonna take advantage of it, especially at this price point. Being a homesteading family who raises a lot of our own meat, we raise our own chicken, we raise our own pork, we have cows. We do not buy a lot of meat at Costco. I normally will just pick up some wild caught fish or wild caught seafood as needed. Every once in a while I'll buy some lamb, but I do occasionally buy the ground turkey. Costco is the only place that I've ever seen organic ground turkey. So this is something that I do buy there every once in a while. In the produce section, we always get a box of apples. Charlie really likes Honeycrisp apples, so I got some Honeycrisp apples. We always get bananas. I got some strawberries. I got some sweet potatoes and some Brussels sprouts because I really want to make this delicious sweet potato and Brussels sprout breakfast hash that I make. If you've never thought of Brussels sprouts as a breakfast food, I encourage you to give them a try. They are so good with roasted sweet potatoes and a nice farm fresh egg on top. Delicious. I love these big white mushrooms. They are perfect for making stuffed mushrooms. I got some Boston lettuce because I want to make kind of P.F. Chang copycat lettuce wrap. This is the perfect kind of lettuce to do that. So I will definitely share that recipe. We buy the organic figs every time we go. If you've seen my other Costco videos, you know that I'm always buying these figs. They're Charlie's favorite. This is like his candy. He absolutely loves them. I love putting them on top of salads, putting them on mezzi platters when I make a mezzi platter. But this is something new. So I have never ever tried these before. In fact, I've never tried a persimmon before. So I was really excited to see these because I've always wanted to try them. So I am gonna try one right now and you can see my reaction to having the first persimmon ever of my life. So these are air dried persimmon slices. The only ingredient in here is the persimmons. So I'm gonna open them up. They smell like figs. So this is what they look like. And I'm gonna try it. It says that they're great for granola, oatmeal, or on salads or snacking. So I have no idea what this texture is gonna be like. I'm a little scared. So here we go. It's really, really chewy. It's really sweet. 
I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan of this part of it. I'd probably be able to get over it, but it reminds me of the texture of like a fig or a date. So I'm gonna play with these. I'm gonna have some fun with these. I definitely think that I could get creative. If you like persimmons, let me know what you do with them. Let me know what you would do with these. Give me some ideas and they're not bad. They're really not bad. I know that Charlie is really, really gonna like them because he eats figs all the time. So this will be kind of a nice little change. And I can already tell, I love making pretty food boards. I'm gonna be able to make some absolutely gorgeous fall food boards with this because of that beautiful orange color. I'm already thinking how beautiful this is gonna look next to like green pistachios. I'm gonna get creative with these and I'll definitely share what I do. There are very, very few dried fruit products that I'm able to get. Like I can never find dried cranberries that I can eat because they're always in sunflower oil. And sunflower oil as it is, is not a great healthy oil choice. But on top of that, I'm also severely allergic to sunflower anything. So I can't have sunflower seeds, sun butter, sunflower oil. So anytime I find something like this that I can just snack on, that's a whole food, that is just an easy grab and go, I get really excited. I think I'm gonna grow to love them. Last but certainly not least, I had to pick up some cheese. This Wisconsin girl who is transplanted in South Carolina still absolutely loves her cheese. So I picked up some burrata. This is going to be great for pizza night or some whole wheat sourdough pizza toast or on top of a salad. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet, but I know it's going to be delicious. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope it inspired you to get to Costco and get some of these great deals for October. And if you love videos like this, if you wanna check out a more comprehensive video on what we get typically in a big monthly Costco shopping haul, I will link that video below so you can check that one out as well. Be sure to check out my healthy shopping haul playlist because I've got lots of videos like this for Costco, for Aldi, for all kinds of other stores. And I would love to know what your favorite things are to get as well.